leather is a premium uh, driver for product value uh, because it's universally valued by customers. Uh, it's nice, it's obviously better quality than all other materials and it's desirable in the way that it brings uh, emotional perceptions of what you will get in a car. So designing with leather means maximizing this value potential. The UM has changed the practices, and by practices, I mean industrial practices, through what we call the global platform or mega platform due to the high volume platform. We've seen major industrial groups consolidate the control and each one wants to understand the, the, the issues in the supply chain. As the OEMs move around the world from an assembly plant point of view, um, they're requiring their tier ones and therefore automotive tanners to support them in localization of, of, of uh, leather production. So a supply chain management becomes very important. There are many technologies that are now invading uh, our cars. We're moving to 2.0 cars uh, with the connected car, uh, autonomous driving, and so on. Uh, what we would expect, of course, is that the leather uh, value chain follows the same path and integrates technologies in leather, not only around the other technologies. What we would expect uh, as car makers uh, from our, our suppliers and from all the supply chain players is more technology, more efficiency, and also uh, to keep adding technology, not only in the manufacturing process, uh, but also in the product itself. What we need to do is to reevaluate the approach to cutting, to look at a cut part as a cut part and not look at it in terms of, of sets. So as computing power has become more efficient and, and more cost effective, we can then inventory each hide with its various characteristics and natural defects and, and then apply um, a, an electronic um, cutting device, a, a pattern um, for different seats uh, and maximize the uh, utilization from a particular height and take it from a traditional 60 or 70 percent up to 80 percent um, by cutting on a part basis as opposed to cutting in sets. Technology can help boost value creation uh, with leather uh, through the increasing ability of all leather uh, supply chain players to, um, to deliver sophisticated products at the best cost and with an ever-reduced time to market so as to better respond to customer expectations.